So I got it working for 100%. Uh, welcome to this new episode, by the way. This is a very special episode. Since the one and a half year struggling, working on problems, I got the crane working for 100%. It's 100% automated. And um, yeah, well, that's that's something. That's uh, yeah, that's something we, we've been working on uh, the past one and a half years. And here we are. Uh, we learned a lot, and uh, at least I did. And um, so the last bit that I've added is the monorail action. And um, what I actually did is I added a servo motor from 4D bricks, and uh, which you can connect to the system of the monorail to start and stop it. And I added a sensor, and that sensor detects if the monorail is there or not. Because when the monorail is not there, the crane cannot unload the uh, containers to the monorail because it's not there. So. Um, before we get to the action, I want to just uh, spend one minute on explaining what the monorail system actually is because um, there are some people who don't know the system at all. It's also like, I don't know, 30 years old or something. So uh, we do that, then we go straight to the action and uh, see you there. So just a little one-on-one -on, -one on the monorail system. It's like 30 years old or something and I always wanted it as a kid but I never got it. And I honestly understand why, because it was pretty expensive back then for a uh, normal Lego set. So um, this white thing is the motor, there's a gear underneath, and this small gear here will grab the teeth on the monorail track and that way it propels itself. Now there's also a switch on the lower side of the motor and when it's in the um, middle it just uh, stops and it doesn't do anything and when it's pressed to one side it goes to the left and when it pressed to the other side it goes to the right. That's it. Now to make it move you have a monorail switch what you see here and when you turn it you see there's something moving and the blocks that you see move these are actually the ones that activate the motor. So when you leave it in the uh, neutral position like it is now and the motor reel comes along and it touches the, uh, these blocks, the uh, switch is set to the center position and the motor reel stops. And when you um, turn it like that, this side of the motor reel is activated and it goes to the left. This is stop again when, when you do it like that. That side of the switch is activated. It is it's pushed inward and um, by doing so it goes to the right. So if you want to stop a monorail that's coming from the right or from the left, doesn't matter, you just put it in neutral position and you wait until the monorail arrives and when the monorail arrives it stops automatically. It's very simple. So to, make, to automate this you can add a servo motor on top of this and uh, the servo motor just turns this thing here and uh, by doing so you can automate the whole monorail system. That's it. So, let's go to the action now. So, the system is now booting. The train has arrived and the system now waits until the monorail arrives. And it knows that by uh, the sensor that you see on the left side of the screen, and when that one's activated, the system know, knows that the monorail is there and it can start unloading the containers. Normally, the monorail is uh, activated by the other crane fully automatically, but right now that crane doesn't exist, so I have to do it manually.
So as you can see, the monorail is set off automatically by the uh, system. So that means that everything works just fine now. And uh, wow, I did it. It actually works. So uh, kudos for me, I'd say. <laughs> so welcome back. How awesome was that? Um, yeah, well, the crane is finished. Well, the functions are finished. It's, it's not the aesthetics I'm still working on. As, as you probably have seen and um, there are some great pieces that will be read and blah 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 thank you for your replies on my last episode on the aesthetics because i found a way to uh, to make it look very nice and um, yeah i'm quite happy about uh, what the end result will look like i think i uh, i need to order some bricks on bricklink and then uh, i can show you the uh, the end result um for now we can go to the second crane because this is the first crane there will be an exact copy of this one as well for uh, loading the trains instead of unloading what what this crane does and um, then there will be a third crane and uh, that third crane will actually unload the containers from the monorail to the uh, container yard and from the container yard to the monorail so i'm um, what I'm gonna, gonna try to do is we're gonna try to stack the containers on top of each other So we need some kind of distance sensor thing or whatever So that offers a lot of new challenges I believe but um, Yeah, I'm not willing to spend, to spend another one and a half years on it But um, since uh, my learning curve was like that I think uh, I think we can manage since I learned a lot about things so uh, how to how to make it reliable and how to make it work so i'm gonna apply that knowledge also to the new crane of course um, so that's it for now uh, thank you for watching i hope to see you next time and um, don't forget to subscribe like and reply to this uh, video and uh, see you next time bye